Alright guys, in this video we're going to be going over something called debounce. Um, these are really just boolean values, so just true or false values. Um, and they're just kind of conditions. So um, you can run functions if something is true, for example, or if something's false. And then if it's not, or if it is, you won't run the, you won't run the function. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Um, oops, what is what was that? I'm trying to make this bigger so y'all can see. All right, let's just get a script going. Let's just get a script going, and we're gonna do something super basic so you can understand this, okay? So we're gonna say, um, now you can call this, let's get this uh, plus and going, let's get this. So you can call this debounce, I see a lot of people doing this. I think it is bad practice to do that the reason why is because if somebody else or even you because you're not going to remember everything you code you know what i'm saying so if you were to look at debounce okay well then you'd have to go through your, the rest of your code to figure out what debounce is relative to so do not call your debounce debounce call it something like um let's we're gonna just gonna do a print function um and we're gonna say uh, can print is equal to true okay now we're also gonna do a count okay we're gonna do a count um, is equal to zero and now we're going to do a function um, uh, print um, value is equal to function value and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say if not can print then return end that is a very clean way to put your code so basically what's gonna happen is if can print is equal to false then it's going to do nothing that's what this line is saying okay so if can print is equal to false then do nothing all right now what we're going to do is we're going to say count plus equals one and we're going to say um if count is greater or equal to six then return in all right now what we're gonna do is we're going to, um, and you know what, you could organize this however you want. So what I think a better way to maybe organize this is put your all your return ends at the top maybe, and then do the count at the bottom. So we'll just have the count be at the bottom, okay? And now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna say if can print, then print, um, I can print, okay? And now let's see um, this function, okay? So now let's create a part. Let's create a part in the workspace and let's just have, let's have a, let's add a proximity prompt to that part, okay? So now we gotta get our proximity prompt, so um, local, uh, proximity prompt equals um, workspace dot part dot proximity prompt and now we can say uh, proximity prompt dot triggered connect um, print value print um, value and actually, oh, what the hell? All right, we'll do print value. And what we'll do is we'll actually, we don't need to get, we don't need this. We really don't need that. So, um, yeah, so as you can see, let's just get rid of this. So, if not can print, then return end. If count is greater or equal to six, then return end. And then we can say, um, if can print, then print. Uh, I can print and we don't need this if statement 
but it's just good practice to put your if statements like this um, so that you know bugs don't happen because bugs can happen like let's say if I were to do just um, print right here or I would just do print whatever um, but and without the if statement it still leaves room for potential bugs so the if statement just really protects us so just be aware of that um, and then actually we can we can put this outside or inside the if it, it really doesn't matter but let's just put it in the if um, so that our count doesn't go to like a gazillion all right so this should now let's go test it out all right I can print I can print I can print I can print we're at we're about to hit six I can print and we can't print it anymore so that's what a debounce is really for it's to say if something is true um, then do the function or don't do the function and vice versa okay uh, this is very powerful this can't you can do so many things with this so just really experiment with this like make your own functions and stuff like that make your own debounces because but just know that you want your debounce to be named something that is relevant to your function that you're using your debounce for. Do not just call it debounce. That's bad practice, okay? All right, so yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.